So here we have a very neat little package. So this, <laughs> this is Fragrant Story. Uh, this was sent courtesy of Square Games and uh, William Cage. Let's unbox this <laughs> and see what's included. All right, so we're gonna open this up. Now this is a box that shipped in. I just took the shipping label off. For those that don't know, this is a 3DS game. So here's the packaging. And then inside of it, they also included, it's on the side. Actually, before we jump into this, here's a card. So there's a free update coming, which is awesome. Sniff the box. <laughs> uh, so the top of this box here is scented, which is kind of interesting. And then donate or tip. So if you still want to donate to the project, I think you still can. Um, if you do tip or donate, you have the chance to get a shirt. So it's pretty cool. So I scan that you can. The QR code. All right. Now. These are pretty cool. So this is Six Engine Volume 1. Uh, this is a soundtrack. You've got the Super Nintendo soundtrack for this one. And then the Game Boy on Disc 2. I'm going to pull these out so I can show you what they look like. If I can get this out even. There we go. There's the Game Boy 1. Pretty cool. Come on. There's the Super Nintendo 1, 16 bit. There's the track list. So, pretty cool looking, honestly. So, uh, six, en six Engine is a game engine inspired by SNES classics like FF6, Pro Trigger, Luffy, and more. So, you can go there and check it out. Pretty cool looking, honestly. There's that, and then this. This is uh, Otosan First Day Demo Soundtrack. This is another game that's currently in development. I love the artwork on this. So this is the soundtrack to that game. Kind of reminds me of uh, Earthbound a little bit. And I think that's kind of the idea. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a game I will be covering on the channel as well. So, looking forward to that. Glad to finally have the, glad to have the, the soundtrack there. Alright, moving on to the meat of the game here. Or the meat of the <laughs> boxing here and review. So this is a fragrant story. Uh, this is a game that plays similar to like uh, Ogre Battle or um, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh, here's the back of the box. Smells like trouble. Uh, the game is uh, flower themed, which is kind of interesting. Um, I can't say I've ever seen a, a flower themed uh, game, but um, let me put this over here. Okay, so this includes a physical soundtrack of the game, which is really cool. Uh, it also includes digital, um, a uh, Digital soundtrack as well, but I'm not going to show that, that code, obviously. Um, but that's pretty cool. Here's the case. Plays in 2D only, which I was kind of upset about, honestly. I wish that it was uh, it was 3D, but it's okay. Still plays really good. So here's the game card. I can get it without not... Oh, there we go. Pretty cool looking there. Okay. And I was actually surprised to see this. Um, this little manual here. Now it's not very long. It's like, like what, what, two pages? But it's still pretty cool to see. Um, you don't see 3DS games having physical manuals. Um, even if it is a couple pages long. 
So I was really happy to see that. All right, let's go ahead and get into the game here. Nope. All right. All right, so here we got my new 3S. I'm gonna pop it. I'm gonna pop it into the cartridge slot here. It's gonna show up right there. Now it is important to know I do have this digitally as well. Um, I was provided a digital copy uh, by uh, Squire Games um, to play ahead of the uh, ahead of the physical version. Um, I have played through the story uh, once. The story is pretty decent. I really like the story actually. So we're gonna go ahead and just start the game. Turn the sound up. I love the music in this game. So I'm very excited to have the soundtrack. Alright, so I press start. Alright, so you got story mode. You have challenges complete, one battle to unlock challenges. Um, you have quick start, begin the battle to unlock quick start. So uh, begin one battle. To, okay, so there's that. Ticket shop, ticket shop, spend tickets and stanks. Settings, change user settings, credits. Here a special song. Oh, okay, that's cool. Let's do that real quick. That's cool. Wonder if that's on the soundtrack. I wonder if it would be. So settings. We've got sound effects volume, music, voice volume, spinner with manual audio, cutscenes, show or skip, level plus animation, normal fast, and quick battle options or settings. So the story mode. Story mode, clear a path to Bramble Hollow. So here you've got different uh, difficulty modes. You've got uh, Pequaint, Pungent, and Putrid. Um, Pequaint, uh, time hits trigger instantly. Start with eight tokens. Uh, Pung Pungent, start with five tokens. Timed hits do not trigger instantly. Putrid, hard mode. <laughs> Timed hits are unreliable. Start with three tokens. So we're going to do, do quick wins. That's rhubarb. So you play as uh, so you had to have rhubarb in your party. Now the tokens here designate how many um, uh, how many characters you can have uh, in your party. So we've got a lot of different options here. So we got rhubarb. Uh, we level, you know, you can also use it to level root, uh, level the characters up. Like, I can do level 2 for Rhubarb if I wanted. Uh, then you've got Ash. You've got uh, Chessie. Brad. Queenie. Bree. Ross. Sasha. And Jerry. Or Jory, excuse me. And then you have three locked characters. Uh, unlock by completing story mode, Pequaint, Pungent, and Putrid. 
Okay, let's go ahead and do... I'll do... Actually, that might be Jerry. I can't see the camera very well. Alright, so let's do... Do Ross and a couple more here. Let's do Queen and do Chessy, Ash, and Brad. Okay, we're good. So we got all these characters. Hit start. Round one, Perfume Plains. Ah, yes. Another lovely morning. Or it would be, if it weren't for those fiends approaching. What's the matter? Thought you wouldn't see any trouble on your first day? Come on. Time to show these ne'er-do-wells that flowers can fight back. Okay, so here we go. Here's the main main game here. So we've got you've got Rubai, you've got all the characters here. And then you have overview. You know, overview, and then you've got uh, items. How many items? You got settings. Uh, and then you can end the turn. Oh, no, I ended the turn on an accident. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so we're gonna move him there. We're gonna go ahead and use this regular attack. Now, what's cool is you have the little um, spinning dial here, and you can use this to if you get the the red one the the uh, one that's only one thereof, you'll do a, a critical hit. And nope, didn't get it. Uh, now it's important to know you cannot use the analog stick. Oh, cool. Actually, in the level. Uh, you, you only can use the D pad. So there's a rhubarb. We're going to use the rose sword. Critical hit. Cool. Good deal. I'm not sure why I was down so, so low, but... I gotta move these guys around until the next enemy show up. I'm gonna just stand by for that one. Oh, and yeah, the bees are over there. I didn't see them. I thought they weren't any on the screen yet. They're so small. Looking through the camera. Okay, let me turn. And this is Fragrant Story, guys. This game's really cool. And, I, you know, I don't care for um, Final Fantasy Tactics at all. But I really like um, <laughs> other tactics-based games, like uh, Shining Force is, is really cool. Shining Force 2, Shining Force 1, Shining and the Darkness are all really good games. Um, and f and the Fire Emblem series is uh, pretty good, too. Um, so I was actually really excited to check this game out, and I'm glad that I'm able to check this out, because this is a great game. One of the last games to be produced on the 3DS, physically. So it's pretty awesome. 
be able to have this in my collection, be able to enjoy it. And we're gonna go ahead and just stand by there. Now I wanted to, oh, he's, okay, so, is it this one? It might be this one, yeah. So this is kinda cool, so this character can actually summon a bee. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, actually. And the bee moves and attacks on its own. So just an, just an added uh, added character in your in your uh, party here. Now, if you're able to get the 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 blue looking uh, the blue excuse me the blue looking panel there, that's a miss. I'm gonna try to get it. Oh. They also have uh, characters that have special abilities when you draw a vine. Which they'll attack, and then if I hit that um, that green panel there, that'll give me health back. If I can hit it, got it. So if I was missing a heart, I would end up getting a heart back, which is which is neat. We're working the level. You earn standard rank or ranks stanks. Enemies vanquished. Survivor bonus, efficiency bonus, total. You unlock the quick start menu. Meanwhile, back of the castle. Round two, Stinkmire's Swamp. And here we go, round two. So pretty awesome game, honestly, all around. Um, I've been really enjoying it. If you want to get it for yourself, um, I will leave the, the link in the description to purchase the game uh, digitally. Um, you're not going to be able to get it much longer, so if you want to grab this game, I get it while you can. Um, I believe there's a physical version also available still. Um, if it is, by the time this review goes up, I will, of course, leave it a link in the description down below. Um, I'd highly encourage you to check this game out if you like. Uh, if I was tactics, other tactics games like Shining Force, this game's worth it, guys. The story isn't very long. It's about an hour long, um, give or take. But it's a good story, and there's a lot of content here. And as you saw at the start of the video, there's even plans to uh, give you give you even more content. So um, definitely worth worth checking out. I'd, I'd say. Um, and uh, I want to thank Squire Games and uh, uh, William Cage for providing this for review. Um, this game's beautiful. It's 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 beautiful. It's fun. It's a great game, a uh, great game to add to, to, a, to your digital or physical library. Again, it's one of the last 3DS games that we'll see, and definitely worth picking up. So I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.